Hey guys! We are back on Buzz Chum. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. Oh yeah. The unauthorized Hocus Pocus musical review, kids! I went and saw Hocus Pocus the musical on the opening night and wow kids, wow. It was just fabulous. It was at the Rockwell in Los Feliz and you buy your ticket, you show up, you have some dinner, maybe while the show is going on, and yeah, it was amazing, kids. First off, I am a huge, huge Hocus Pocus fan, like a huge Hocus Pocus fan. So when I heard they were doing an unauthorized musical version, I had to go and see it. They had one of the guys who was a big part of getting Hocus Pocus made, who has suggested Bette Midler. He was hilarious. He did a little like intro about the movie and like all that and how it actually was a flop. I'm like, what? And when it came onto cable, it was like a big hit. So it's definitely a parody, which is freaking, freaking awesome. It's a small cast. I mean, obviously you have all the Sanderson sisters and they were fabulous. Am I the only one? brother, sister, and brother's love interest there. Then you had these two guys that basically played every other character. They played the mom and the dad. They played the two like stoner guys that beat up on the Max, the brother. Yeah, they played, um, one of them played Binks and the other one played the sister, yeah. They were friggin' hilarious. They were like my favorite, favorite part of the show. Cause they just like owned it and they owned all the characters that they played and they just were hilarious. The story sped up a bit, which is awesome because I mean, obviously like set wise and stuff, it's in a restaurant. So they don't have like a huge budget for sets and costumes and all that. But they hit on the best, best points. They have a narrator. He's awesome, awesome, really awesome actor. He like owned it too. He was awesome, hilarious. He just, <laughs> he killed it, he killed it. The Sanderson sisters were awesome, awesome. They obviously like poked fun at Bette Midler, poked fun at Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, they poked fun at the other woman on blank on her name and everyone, no one ever remembers her name and that's like the whole thing that everyone thinks she's somebody else. Like they kept thinking she was Rosie O'Donnell. It was hilarious. The jokes really landed. Even if you weren't like a supreme Hocus Pocus fan, I think that you would get like 95% of the jokes, which is pretty awesome. Um, my favorite part, obviously, was when they sang I Put a Spell on You, because that was awesome. When they sing I Put a Spell on You in the movie, it is my favorite part of the movie. And so, yeah. It was definitely my favorite, favorite part of the play. And the three ladies, they definitely had really good voices, so that was really good. That was super, super fun. The fact that the three kids lock them in a kiln at the high school and think they're gonna burn them alive and then they don't die. They become like this green smoke, but they never explain it that, you know, they can't die, they can't be harmed until sun up. So they kind of don't explain that and like the ending in the movie, which and they did it for the end in the play, it's kind of very anticlimactic in the sense that, um, yeah, the sun comes up, so they die. They don't suck the life out of the children like they were planning on doing. That's like the hilariousness and like the cheesiness of the movie, which they totally embodied in the play. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so you have so many options to see it and you totally should if you love Hocus Pocus. Comment below, let me know if you've seen Hocus Pocus the Unauthorized Musical or you're gonna go see it. Yeah, kids, yeah. The Unauthorized Hocus Pocus Musical Review, kids. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan. On Buzz Chuck. Subscribe. Oh yeah, thank you.